So one of the things I'm going to do is to set the model up so that uh, all the messages that I've come up with uh, are inherited in various classes. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a minute now to create a dependency matrix. And we'll set the rows to signals, row scope and column scope to signals. And we want to create generalization relationships. I want just the row to column. And um, there we go. So I can go ahead now. For example, AGT command is a command. That's a command status. That's a state. And I'll make transponder data type of communication signal just for the heck of it. So again, if you can see a matter of minutes, I was able to go ahead and create um, you know, the inheritances between these commands so they would inherit any properties and can flow legally over interfaces. For example, anything that's allowed to flow a command can legally flow any of these other commands. And so that worked out pretty well. Again, if we show both row to column and column to row, we can see all of them. We could even compress this just to show the ones that have relationships uh, or the ones that don't. Um, so information, there's nothing there that's set up as an information signal. So again, this is a really powerful way to quick do some double checks and uh, figure out what's going on. But we've now taken the time to uh, classify our signals a little bit.